Oh my god. Oh, by the way, this is, this is fake. I wanted to give myself like a proper one when I was in high school. My mom was like, you're not touching your face. It's only the years. I also wanted a piercing here. And she always said no. But at the same time, I'm like, now? I don't know if I can be asked healing it and not having any makeup there. Hmm, probably not. Hi over there and welcome back to this YouTube channel. My name is Julia and in today's clip, I decided to recreate an Instagram makeup look and the person I, I found with this look it's actually his name a uh, username on Instagram Sandy Hi Hi Less Hi Less I'm not quite sure if I'm pronouncing that wrong or right um, if by any means any chance she would ever watch this clip I'm really sorry so yeah literally I recreated this look uh, she posted this look I have it on my laptop on the 16th of May 2019 which is a long time ago but I really loved it um, so you know this lipstick for example the lip in itself the color it used to be my my, my favorite go-to color on every day literally I know it's weird until I found nudes and I was like oh I will never ever give up this color this MUA lipstick in shade splash for a goddamn nude but I end up being that bitch I really love how it turned out this video is gonna be voiceover and you know if you wanna stay close to see how I recreated this look I'm sorry I'm looking that way I love it and I'm looking my at myself in the mirror but anyways if you would love to see how I recreated this look then you know keep watching and subscribe because I'm doing bits here and there tutorials reviews and all of that jazz you know that's it. So I'm starting by priming my face with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and I apply a ton of it. It's very hydrating and at the same time it's poor feeling and a tad bit mattifying. I have no idea how it works, but it works and I love it. Now I'm going with foundation. I'm using the Ordinary Full Coverage Foundation and the Conceal and Define Foundation from Revolution. I have the shades in the description and everything in between, not only for this product, but for all of them. And obviously I'm combining the two of them. That's what, how I actually managed to get the perfect shade I need. Now I'm using the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer and I'm applying it underneath the eye. This is a really nice concealer. It does set itself a bit, but at the same time I have really fine lines, so I do still set it with this powder, which is from Lottie London, the Lottie, uh, Lottie Set Go, the Ready Set Go powder. Now I'm using some blush and contouring. The blush is from Kiko and the contour is from the Beauty Crop. And I'm bronzing my nose as well using Benefit Cookie Highlighter. It's a really, really lovely highlighter. <laughs> Today I can't speak, literally. And I'm obviously doing my brows. This is from MUA. It's a brow pomade. And obviously using my favorite thing from Benefit, the Gimme Brow Gel. Hydrating those crusty lips. And I had to show you I have foundation on my blouse. Wow, interesting. Obviously I'm setting my eyes with Catrice. And then I'm starting off with the eyeshadows. So I'm applying their Necessity and Strawberry Bonbon from the Bright Matte Palette from Beauty Bay. And then I'm moving on with Make Them Wink. I apply then Hot Stuff. Basically I do apply very bright neon -y kind of shades from the palette. I'm using now Heat Wave. Granny Smith that I'm actually combining it off camera with Slice of Lime which is the green next to it. Now I'm using Paradise. And I'm combining a tad bit of it with Sea Mist. And then I'm going on with Purple Power and Modern Way combined together. And then basically, I kind of pretty much use the same shades, but at the same time, I'm, I'm using different ones as well, like Tutu, Slice of Lime, and literally just put them in the inner corner like dots together that are touching themselves. Um, in, in touching themselves like you know I'm blending them out that's what I meant 
touching themselves, that's interesting. And then I'm using the cookie highlighter to highlight my inner corner. I use this uh, cold pencil from Max Factor in my waterline and then I apply Pacific Dreams and Paradise all over the waterline and underneath the eye as well. And then I'm taking the shade Illicit, which is a pitch black shade and I do that for the eyelashes so you know with the eyelashes I usually do measure them to see if they're fit I wiggle them a bit apply dual make sure you're careful because sometimes you get so much out of the packaging like the glue in itself like this is what I'm doing now I'm like oh don't and I apply a bit more on the corners that's the drill obviously trying to dry out and then I realized I didn't have any mascara so I applied some bad gal bang mascara and applied my goddamn lashes which were wonderful but they are really heavy they are from Primark they're not the best quality I'm not gonna lie and now I'm getting this collection glam crystal uh, I'll leave the shade in the description and I apply it on the inner corner I wanted a bit more glitter and then I'm using shade splash from MUA and just a random blue eyeliner I do use it because it's easier to line my lips and it's very similar to the shade I'm using from the MUA I loved and I still love this lipstick so much and I apply now um, from Miss Sporty some fake freckles I that's pretty much the drill and this is pretty much it I, I really love how it looks and yeah see you in the next one bye bye